show on Kids Place Live. We're talking the best thing in the world, the worst thing in the world. We're talking about the little things that can make or break our days. Let's go to the phones right now and see what they are. So far, I feel like they've all been kind of universal, right? I mean, I feel like everything that everyone's mentioned, I can see how some how this thing would make or break your day. <laughs> Let's go to Florida, where Gia is standing by. Good morning, Gia. Hi. All right, we're going to start off with what's the worst thing in the world? So the worst thing in the world is when, you're, is when your pet poops on the floor and you accidentally step on it. Oh, worst thing in the world. I'm guessing this probably also happened in the middle of the night when it was dark. Or not? No, I don't. Oh. I don't sneak down in the middle of the night unless I want to go to the bathroom or fill my water. That's what I was talking about. I was talking about sneaking out of the house in the middle of the night. But oh, um, so your dog has pooped on the floor and you've stepped in it? No, not my dog. My pigeon. That's your pigeon. pigeon. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a yeah. minute. Back it up. Back it up. You buried the lead. You have a pet pigeon. I have a bunch. Mm -hmm. You have a bunch of something. Wait, wait yep. a minute. What? Pet pigeons? Yeah, pet pigeons. I thought I was the only one with a pet pigeon. Well, when the world listeners will know exactly what I'm talking about, so tell me about these pet pigeons. Uh, there's like 20-something of them, and a couple babies are inside of our house. What? And we got a baby chick in our house, too. And you have a baby chick in your house? Are they in... Are, do you raise these pigeons? Yeah. You, wait, wait, Tori, are you hearing all this? This just keeps getting better and better. You have over 20 pigeons in your house. Are they in cages? Yeah. Well, no, I have, I have a bunch more outside, and I only have a couple babies inside. Okay, inside. And when you say <laughs> the pigeons are outside, they don't just fly away? No. We keep some in our in our little coop, and sometimes we let them out. But since we had them for a long time, they they just fly around in circles above our house. And sometimes our homing pigeons, we get some homing, homing pigeons, pigeons in our cages and bring yeah homing pigeons. You have we homing pigeons. In. Yes. You're acting like this is no big deal. This is a really big deal. Okay, so yeah, homing pigeons. Tell. Okay. Go ahead. Say that again. <laughs> We got some homing pigeons and we put them in cages with my dad and we go drive to like, like another road and they and then we let them free fly. They they do circles for a couple minutes and we drive back home and then they're already home before us. Wow! And do these homing pigeons do they do they carry messages anywhere? No. They, yeah, th but they know they know how to get back to where they they have like a built-in GPS, right? Yeah, I can, yeah. That is amazing. How long has your family raised pigeons for? Um, mom, how long? Two, uh, two years. About two years. Two years. And and do you go to, like, pigeon races where other people that have pigeons race their pigeons, too? Not yet. Not yet. This is a new thing. We're about to sell some. We're about to sell some. You're about to sell some. Wow. All right. Um, can I talk to your mom really quick on the air? Yeah, sure, yeah. So many questions. Mom. Hi. You all raise pigeons? We do, yeah. It's How did this begin? Gia's dad wanted to do. He's actually from New York. So uh, I don't know if that's something that he just brought with him to Florida, but or his, his love for pigeons. But um, we got a couple a couple years ago, and then we got a couple more. And then a couple more, and then they just sort of multiply from there, and we take care of them and feed them every day. And like Gia said, we let them out, and they fly around, and then they just come right back home. Wow. So they have coops, but even when you let them go free, they always come back home. Yep, yep. That's where they live. They're comfortable in their coop. It's, this, it's protection. This is fascinating. I don't know whether you're on our Absolutely Mindy post-show parent club group page on Facebook, but if you are... I would love to see a picture of some of these pigeons. I am. I am. I'll definitely post something. I'll tag you, okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We would love to see them. Oh, boy. Oh, Thank you right. so much for calling. Oh, wait. We never got Gia's best thing of the week. Best thing in the world. All right. All I'll right. give you back to Gia. I got uh, okay. sidetracked by the pigeons. All right, Gia, what's the 
best thing in the world. The best thing in the world is that when I'm in my room and I smell my mom making hamburger helper. <laughs> Aww. So you're not smelling pigeon poop in that moment. You're smelling hamburger helper. <laughs> Nothing it's will fun. guide you from your lair, from your bedroom, quite like hamburger helper. No. Nope. Can you describe the smell of hamburger helper? Actually, it smells like tacos from far away. Yeah, it smells like tacos from far away. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I remember some big tacos, I'm like, is that hamburger helper? And then I get closer, then I'm like, nope, it's tacos. I love it. So someday, someday you'll be like, Mom, one of the best parts of my childhood was being in my room, doing my homework, and smelling hamburger helper fresh off the Actually, stove. No. And I don't have homework. My my class doesn't give me homework. I'm actually a lucky class. Nice. Lucky for you. Best thing in the world. Gia, thank you so much for calling. Have a great day and take good care of those pigeons, okay? 